ADHD is the most common neurodevelopmental disorder in childhood, affecting around 5% of children and about 2.5% of adults worldwide. There's a common stereotype of a boy running around a classroom, but ADHD is actually much more complicated and often more problematic than that. As well as being an issue itself, ADHD has been proven time and time again to be a risk factor for issues with mental health, as well as educational and employment problems in later life, as well as other issues such as substance abuse and getting into trouble with the authorities. In our course, Understanding ADHD, we cover four broad areas. One, what is ADHD? What do we mean by symptom? And what's a disorder? Two, what's it like to live with ADHD? Three, what do we know about the causes or risk factors, both genetic and environmental? And four, treatment, both pharmaceutical and non-pharmaceutical. Many of our students are teachers, educators more generally, or parents themselves. And consequently, we have included practical, evidence-based content throughout this course. So alongside the latest research, we'll also follow the journey of several families who have children with ADHD, who join us to speak about when they first realised something wasn't right, right through to diagnosis and treatment. We also speak with a number of professionals who work with children with ADHD. And when you hear these stories, you'll see that it's clear that whilst we are making progress, there's still some room for improvement. And we'll also address some of the controversies of ADHD, like why medication is often the go-to treatment, the issue of side effects and the role of diet. So join us over the next four weeks as we take an evidence-based practical tour through ADHD.